Welcome to pre-math. In this video lecture, we are going to prove this given trigonometric identities, secant theta plus cosecant theta divided by tangent theta plus cotangent theta equal to sine theta plus cosine theta. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the proof. And here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's focus on this left hand side part of this equation. And here I have copied down this left hand side as you can see. And now let's recall our trigonometric ratios table as you can see over here. And we can see this secant theta. We are going to replace secant theta by 1 over cosine theta. Likewise, cosecant theta, I am going to replace it by 1 over sine theta. And tangent theta, I am going to replace it by sine theta divided by cosine theta. And likewise, cotangent theta, I am going to replace it cosine theta divided by sine theta. So let's focus on the numerator first. So secant theta could be written as 1 over cosine theta plus cosecant theta could be written as 1 over sine theta. I'm just going to put down in this bracket and divided by, let's focus on this denominator. Let's go ahead and replace this tangent theta by sine theta divided by cosine of theta plus uh, this cotangent theta could be written as uh, cosine theta divided by sine of uh, theta and then we're gonna close this bracket as well and here's our next step let's focus on the numerator part uh, this quantity and here I have copied it down and let me show you how we're gonna simplify them by using a crisscross method I'm gonna cross multiply this way, 1 times sine theta is going to be sine theta plus whatever this sine. And then the other way is going to be cosine theta divided by, we are going to multiply these denominators together. So this is going to become sine theta times cosine theta. So therefore, I'm going to replace this numerator part by this simplified one so I can write sine of theta plus cosine of theta divided by sine theta times cosine of theta and then divided by let's focus on this denominator part this one and here I have copied down as well let's go ahead and simplify this one by using crisscross method as well. So that's going to give us sine theta times sine theta. That is going to become sine square theta plus cosine theta and cosine theta is going to become cosine square theta and divided by we are going to multiply out these two denominators. So that is going to give us sine theta times cosine of theta. So therefore, I am going to replace this denominator by this simplified form. So I can write uh, sine square theta plus uh, cosine square theta divided by sine theta times cosine of theta. And now we can see that this sine theta times cosine theta cancels out with this another denominator sine theta times cosine theta. So therefore we ended up with uh, simply this uh, sine theta plus uh, cosine theta on the top divided by this uh, sine square theta plus uh, cosine square theta. And now let's recall this famous trigonometric identity sine square theta plus cosine square theta equals to 1. So therefore I'm going to replace the, this by 1. So therefore we can write sine theta plus cosine theta 
divided by 1 and which is same as sine theta plus cosine of theta. Now we can see that this is same as our this right hand side. So thus we have proven that the left hand side is same as the right hand side. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.